between Matt Hamill and Jason the Hitman Brill. Jason Brills making his way to the world famous octagon. Jason Brills is an extremely talented grappler with a lot of pro experience. He's had over 20 fights in his career and he's won the majority of those with his submission skills. He loves to compete at this level and he said before the fight that this will be the biggest test of his career. Jason Brills fired up and ready to go. Matt Hamill set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Matt Hamill has world class wrestling skills, the kind that truly let him dictate where the fight takes place. He's got brutal ground and pound and has greatly improved his stand up game since we saw him on the Ultimate Fighter. Matt is a serious threat on the feet. Matt Hamill ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Jason Brills! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a freestyle fighter who stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Utica, New York, Matt the Hammer! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. And we are ready for ready? round one. Are you ready? Jason Brills, Matt Hamill. And here we Let's go. go. Come on. Hook right there. Oh, wow. looping hook there. <laughs> nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Full guard here. And into side control. Oh, this and one another. is getting ugly. Submission time. Reversal. Very nice. The crowd clearly in favor of Matt Hamill. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Pushes him off with the feet. Looking for the takedown. Nice job, double leg. Side control. He ate that one. Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Good sprawl. 
He's in the full guard here. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he got tagged with the hook. Stopped. Big right hand. Full guard. Great reversal. And into full mount. Relax here. We're fine. Relax here. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, he gets reversed. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, nice left and a right. He's got double underhooks. Under a minute remains. Nobody doing much of anything. Referee's going to break him up. Okay, guys, I they'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe go. once again. Don't stay in his range. One six. Nice right hand. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice right hand. Again teeing off. Round one is in the books. I'm not sure what the game plan was in that round. It seems that they were still in the feeling out process. A good mix of stand-up and ground game, but nothing for the highlight reel. Don't cloud him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. Hook right hand. You gotta punish him. Three. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Three. Come on, breathe. We're here to work too. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. The counter fighting was unbelievable. Look here at this slip right into a counter. And here we see that explosive flurry. And here's another great counter. Dodge the incoming attack, spot the opening, throw a strike of your own. He sets up, you get hands in his face fast. Fast. All right, hard hands. Ariani gets us set for round two. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the start of round number two. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Oh, big shots! Man, he can't take many more of those, Joe. That's yeah. gonna that's gonna break a rib sooner or later. Fast hands, good battle inside. Swing and a miss. Oh, big left hook. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Uppercut. And now he's answered. Both guys staying in tight. Nice double leg. Side control. There's a bit of a cut here on Hamill, Mike. Wow, that right hand. Oh! Back to their feet. Got to take down again. Boom! Side control. And back to full guard. Postures up. Oh! Back to their feet. Relentless takedowns here. Pushing his opponent away. He shoots. Again, the takedown is stopped. And another takedown. Great job on the reversal. He's got half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Postured up. Big right hand. Hamill keeps getting tagged on that cut. He is bleeding bad, Mike. He's got the back here. Got both hooks in. Rolls back over to mount again. Half guard. 45 seconds remains. Side control again. In the full guard here. Back to side control. He ate that one. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. 
He's in guard here. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick. Right? You feel him open that guard. Bring up that combat knee. Get yourself. Okay? You start working. You start working that knee. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here's that lightning fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Everything you're doing is working. It's loading up. The beautiful Shandella gets us set for round three. Round three is Come underway. On. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Pushes him off of the feet. Good body shot. Nice right hand. Nice counter. Both men exchanging. What an exchange here. Left, right. And he answers. He takes him down again. Now into side control. Into half guard. Into the guard. Looking to force his opponent up against the cage, Joe. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Half guard. He's in the full guard. Pushing his opponent away. He's hurt badly, he's down! He dives on him into the guard with that punch. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Trying to utilize the cage to get back to his feet. Looking for the takedown. And he's got it, and he's down. Joe looking for the takedown here. Good takedown. Under two minutes remains. Third and final round. He's got the double. He gets a takedown. Keep moving. Get him back and up. He gets a takedown. Total control from the top position. Come down with a good one. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant position. He's got the double. He's got the takedown. Tough to do in this position with the cage there for his opponent. Bam! Takes him right down. That is the end of the third and final round. Joe, that was a pretty darn good fight. That was an awesome fight. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see what happens when you overcommit on a strike. You leave yourself wide open for the takedown. And here was that nasty counter strike, just so perfectly timed. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Jason Brills! Jason Brills earns the victory inside the Octagon. Coming up 
Up next, it's a lightweight fight between the king and Big Dog. Big Dog, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. This guy moves like a tornado, Mike. He's extremely light on his feet with great head movement. He comes in at crazy angles, sets up his attacks with feints, and he can really take you out of your game plan. It's tough to time your shots when you're fighting someone like this. Big Dog, fired up and ready to go. making his way to the world famous octagon as far as pure strength goes this is one of the most powerful men in the division he's very dangerous when he closes the distance a beast in the clinch huge takedowns and he can generate a ton of power with his short punches and elbows the king ready to throw down and put on a show Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a wrestler. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Caesar Big Dog Santiago. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a boxer. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Stamford, Connecticut. The King! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Big are dog. You ready? The King. And here we Come on, go. Let's do it. Quick hands. Oh, but he ain't a left hand. Left. Swing and a miss. He shoots. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. He's in guard here. Side control. Nicely done. He's got half guard. And back to full guard. Working the rubber guard. Side control again. Half guard. He's in the guard now. Back to side control. And really raining down some haymakers. Half guard. Inside. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kabora. Trying to remain patient. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Watch for him to grab your leg. Good job. He's looking for a Kimura. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. And he escapes. And he gets reversed. Okay, he moves into the mount here. Got the hooks in, Joey's got his back. Rolls back over to mount again. Oh, he's got an arm bar. That is a tight, tight arm bar. Very nice escape. Into half guard. 
Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Moves into half guard here, Mike. Big dog is bleeding here, Mike. Beautiful. He's got the guillotine. Our first oh. round is in the books. Man, Joe, the bell may have very well saved him there. Yeah, that submission was locked in tight. And ending a round in a dominant position like that sends a very strong message to the judges. You swim that arm over. Okay. Got to keep those uh, hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. And you good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Here we see some beautiful submission defense to get out of that. And here's that submission attempt that wasn't quite able to be finished. Some good groundwork in that round, Mike. On the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long. The beautiful Shandella. We are ready for round two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Round two. Come on, let's do it. Nice job, double leg. Side control. Full guard here. Good sprawl. And oh, he he's answers. Hurt. Oh, nice combination. A left hook and then an uppercut. Nice body kick. One, six, two, Again, the takedown is stuck. Nice counter right. He's down. He dives in and delivers a huge shot. And he mounts. Armbar. Trying to pry those hands loose. His opponent's using real good deep. Oh, he rolls out of it. Very nice escape. Joey's nice. got them out. This is not good. Nice, nice. The real key here is to use the cage. Oh, he's got it locked in. Guillotine. He can get him right here, Joe. Great submission defense. He's got an arm in, full guard. This is very... Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Now into side control. He's in. He's looking to isolate an arm here, looking for the Kimura. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Wow, great job oh, done escapes. defensively. In the full guard here. It looks like the king is bleeding, Joe. Great job on the reversal. And into full mount. He's got the arm triangle. I don't think it's quite tight enough. He's pressing down with his weight. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. He's in full guard here. Breathe move right now. Breathe move. Good sprawl. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. We saw some decent groundwork in that second round, Joe. Yeah, these guys are very active on the ground. One mistake in this final round, and either fighter could finish it early. You swim that arm over. Okay. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle in that armbar. You can catch him all day long. Good? Okay. He's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace. Push the pace. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready to fight? 
Are you ready? Here we go. Round three. Come on, let's do it. We got five minutes. We're done. Oh, ducking in and counters that nicely. Nice double leg. Side control. Oh, mount. Oh, he gets reversed. He's looking for a Kimura. I don't think it's tight. And he escapes. He passes to half. Moves into full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. He's inside control here. The crowd clearly in favor of Big Dog. The crowd now in favor of the King. He's got his arm trapped and he's got the other arm trapped in between the legs. Oh, reversal. Pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. What an exchange here. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, answered by a big body shot. He shoots in. Bam, takes him right down. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, big shot. He's down. He's in full guard. He's looking for Kimura. He's got it locked. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Into his guard. Final 30 seconds of the third and final round. Oh! Oh, big right hand! Oh, big right hand! He's down! He ate that one! And the fight is over! Round three is complete. Joe, that was a pretty darn good fight. That was an awesome fight. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Here's that vicious shot. I thought this was a knockout right here. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. And here we see that tremendous shot while they were up against the fence. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Caesar Big Dog Santiago. Big Dog, the victor.